Well, what's up y'all it's your girl sunny and i am back with another video y'all we got to 50 subscribers last night well this morning at like 2 a.m uh, i'm gonna order my food real fast so give me one second okay y'all so i'm back so like i was saying we got to 50 subscribers and i love y'all for getting me there and i just want to thank y'all for all the support i really appreciate it my love some flowers since i love y'all so much and I also have our two winners, Paris Siggers and I think it's, girl, I don't know how to pronounce your name. I think it's Ashley or Ashley. Oh, hold on. Thank you. I only wanted, I only wanted one of these. I, the one, I was saying the one that you had already rang up, I wanted you to make that drink, the drink for the, the second meal that I added. And I didn't want two ones. separate ones. So the first one you didn't want to smoothie? No, the first one my my drink was my water, and then I wanted and I said I wanted a smoothie. Then when I said I want to add another smoothie. meal, this a cooler, ain't it? Hmm? This a cooler. No, that's good for smoothies. No, these uh, are smoothies. But she did. She only wanted the water. I only wanted the water, water and then one of these. Yes. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not doing all that. You can't get her no. No, I'm not doing all that. It's okay. Do I need to pull up? Yeah. Okay. Girl, I'm not doing all that. I'm not doing all that. Anyways, Paris Siggers and I think it's Ashlyn, Cheyenne. Um, those are the subscribers that run the. They didn't have Amazon gift cards, so I just got two Apple gift cards. So there y'all go. DM me on Instagram so I can send y'all y'all cards. Y'all don't DM me. I'm not putting this on Instagram, so if y'all don't DM me, y'all not gonna get y'all cards, okay? So make sure y'all DM me. And I am gonna do more giveaways like that, um, especially when I get to 100 subscribers. I'm gonna do another one. It's gonna be more. It's probably gonna be something different. I don't know what I'm gonna do yet, but today is gonna be a story time it's actually like two stories put into one it's like how did i lost my virginity and how i became gay but i gotta tell you how i was like how i started liking females before i could say i lost my virginity so i gotta do it like that but that's what we want to be doing today and i'll see y'all when i get my food. okay so y'all i am back we got Culver's. Yes, I drove all the way to Madison to get some. Yes, I did. It wasn't even really that far. It was only like 15 minutes to go. I'm gonna get my food out. Destiny's over there, but she's not gonna get in the camera. Destiny say hey. Hey. <laughs> okay, so y'all. When I was in, so I as a little kid, my auntie used to used to sometimes she used to tell me like I feel like you gonna grow up and like women. Like my auntie told me that before, like when I was a little girl. And I was like, no, I'm not. Excuse the rain because it is pouring outside as y'all can see. But since she said that, like it always ran through my head, like what do that even mean? So these guys hot. So I never really like really took too much incident. Like I had little boyfriends, the boys I would talk to and stuff like that. So when I got in eighth grade. That's when I, I knew I always liked girls, but it wasn't like I would be with a girl. Cause for one, I didn't know if my family would accept that because I seen like how people older than me, like how my family treated them. And it was like, I was the, 
y'all i don't like thunder and lightning so i'm gonna jump every time i'm just <laughs> that's just that's why i'm gonna jump every time but yeah so eighth grade is when i had my first girlfriend i had my first girlfriend in eighth grade and after that it was pretty much over with for the boys like, I tried to have boyfriends and stuff, but it wasn't, like, interesting to me, like, no. It was never, no. No. Um, so, then I go to high school. I go to high school. Me, so, me and a girl I was to, that I liked in eighth grade that I was together with, we went to high school together. And... You know, you know how we do that on and off thing in high school. So we did that on and off thing whole high school, like whole high school. And but that relationship, that was the longest relationship I ever been in. It was like three years. It's a challenge. Oh no, for real. But wow. First of all, why is it the seat like on? We is parked. No, I don't like that. But anyway, I got a girlfriend with somebody else. So when I was like 17, my little sister had this boyfriend and she would want me to take her, like take her to his house and stuff and stuff like that. So he had a cousin over there and I had to stay with her while she was over there so i was like i might as well talk to his cousin so <laughs> i'm talking to his cousin or whatever and he took my virginity but it just wasn't and i'm not trying to downplay him or nothing but it just wasn't it for me like it was like no this is not where it's at and it wasn't like it was just a one-time thing because it wasn't but it's still after going back again it was still wasn't it and it was just like you no know. i can't do it i can't do it i can't do it like this shit was so like That's literally how it was, like, this it? This is all I have to look forward to? <laughs> this is what I have to look forward to for the rest of my life? And when I be seeing, like, porn on Twitter, Twitter and stuff, that stuff be looking like it hurt. And <laughs> I just cannot, like, don't not... You don't even have to be gay to have sex with a girl, but, and I'm not condoning nothing. I'm not condoning anything. I'm just saying, don't knock it to the trap. <laughs> don't knock it to your fire, okay? And then you can just dab in both, you know? Get to a little something over here. Get to a little something over there. From time to time, you don't ever gotta you can switch it up. You know? In my opinion, girls are better. That's my opinion. I mean, I still am cool with niggas. Like, I'm still cool with them. But as far as like dating, marrying, like having, you know, I don't see myself being with men. I really, honestly, never have. Cause even the boyfriends that I did have, I mean. <laughs> one boyfriend I did have I mean I cared about him but it was like no no it was just kind of like I started messing with him and it just we was cool then it just turned into something else that it was never supposed to be for real that it should have never been now yeah, that I think about it like if I can go back and redo some of the stuff that I did with people I definitely do that I just can do it to do it. 
people who getting this other right now. I wouldn't even understand, child. Friend too. But yeah, that's how the whole lose my virginity thing happened. But as far as like me becoming gay, I feel like I've been like that straight out the cat. <laughs> straight out of it like i've been like that because my auntie been telling me for like i said since i was a kid she said tell me like i feel like you're gonna like girls and guess where who i'm with right now i'm with a female i've dated more girls than niggas anyway well guys let me not say that anymore mm. That was some good, um, that was some good story topics. Y'all got a comment down below? And let me know what else I want me to talk about. Even though I already got my next two videos, you know, planned out. I am going to Vegas next week, so get ready for the vlog, okay? It's about to be crazy. It's about to be lit. We not getting no sleep. We outside. What that TikTok say? We going to the streets. The streets are calling our name. What do you say? This a month. The streets are calling our names. We outside. I'ma still respect my relationship. Don't get it twisted. But I'm still outside. I'm still outside with my friends. <laughs> still outside. We're gonna have a great time. Period. We all got designated days. <laughs> we all designated days. So who, who, who get what day to get messed up the most? Mm-hmm. Do y'all want to see, like, my preparation for going to Vegas? Like, me getting my hair done, getting my nails done, my feet done, my eyebrows, my lashes. Like, do y'all want to see me? You know, see me get that stuff done. Let me know in the comments. Y'all, this food is so good. It was worth the 20 minute drive. It was worth it. Well, I know I said 15 earlier, but you know we be over the time. Y'all know. Don't be poor. And somebody asked me, "Don't be what is a flaw in my la in my first video?" But they were saying like, "What is flaw?" Because on my post I made on Instagram, I said, "Don't be flaw." When it comes to reposting my stuff, and he was he was asking like, "What do flaw mean?" And they mean you not real, you fake. That's what flaw mean. You not you not coming right. Somebody else, uh, one of my friends want me to do my internal college story. I can do that on me too. Mm -hmm. My internal college story. So, I didn't want to go to no college at home. So, I only applied to, well, I applied to a whole bunch of other universities, but the only out of state college I applied to was AM. So, I'm like, I'm going to go here. And I told my family, like, I'm I'm not going to no other school. And I got accepted. So I'm like, I'm not going to no other school. I'm going here. I was like, no, pick another school. Pick another school. And I just kept telling them, no. I want to go. <laughs> I kept telling them, I want to go here. I want to go here. So my mom was like, don't. You know, my mom was like, don't stop her. Let her do what you know what she want to do. Let her venture out. Let her live. Stuff like that. So, I came here. Mind you, I was in a relationship towards the end of, college, end of high school. We broke up a month before a month before school ended. Like, when we was in school, we broke up a month before school ended. Time came and put some together. But we had applied to go to the same school. But the school she wanted to go to, I didn't, I didn't get accepted until... 
I came to A&M, so I never got accepted yet. So I told her, like, I'm not going there, I'm going here. So she applied to A&M and got accepted. So once we broke up, I said I wasn't changing my school. And she said she wasn't either, but my whole thing was she never wanted to go there in the first place. But we both came to the same school, stayed in the same dorm, y'all. Same floor or right across the hallway from each other. <laughs> Bro. But college was fun. Oops. I stayed in Steve Kim. If you from if you go to AM, you know what you know Steve Kim, what Steve Kim was called. It was a lot of them now. <laughs> Not me. But it was a lot of them now. <laughs> And all I had to do was open my window at you, right outside my window. The whole, the whole hill busting all day. Then you go down to Foster. It's a cab from Foster. And it's a dorm and a cab. So, always busting. Night was always busting. The choir was always busting. Morris was always busting. Damn, y'all was in the middle of everything. Yeah, we was in the we was dead smack in the middle. So you have to pass the to get to the girls' dorms and get to the boys' dorms. Boys' dorms because in the middle of the hill is the library. No, B of Grace, which is a, a, a like a teaching building. Then you got the bookstore, and then you got the Greek stones on the other side. So that take up a big place. So it's not really no no housing right there. So once you get past that, it's the pen. We right in the middle of everything, like. Yeah, cause y'all can just go straight down the hill to the quad. You hear me? It's straight a, down the hill. Straight to down the, the hill to the quad. Straight down the hill tonight. And then down there. And bro, only thing was was that stretch to Foster. Yeah. Oh, that walk was long. And don't let it be hot outside. You bacon walking down there. Hopkins wasn't bad either, though. Yeah, Hopkins wasn't bad. It's not a lot of dykes though. <laughs> Like, yeah, that's where all of them stay, no cap. <laughs> they thought I was a dyke. <laughs> well, because sometimes that's what you been looking like. <laughs> but, yeah. And before we even came to college, y'all, we, when we came to orientation, they had these parties called SOAR. Bro. Be when I tell you that was the best party of the y'all year. Y'all was the last one. Didn't give us no, I came to July. No, I'm saying y'all, y'all. Yes, they did. August. Y'all did have July one. Sore. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. My year was. They didn't do that for y'all. And we stayed overnight, so and even during the orient, they was like, "It's a party tonight. Don't let your kids go." What? My mama was not stopping me from going nowhere, and she knew that. My mama was not stopping me from going, but she gave me the money to go. So she already knew I was gonna want to go. And my friend came down there with me. We finna go outside. And then they stay, They was staying in a hotel off campus. I stayed on campus at night in one of the dorms. So you really thought I wasn't finna go to the party? Yes, I went. <laughs> and oh. that's why I, I met a lot of people. Like some of my friends that y'all gonna see on my channel, I met them during SOAR. And then when August came, we had another SOAR. That means everybody in the school packed in this one little bitty club. Like, Y'all, you could do this to your hand, sweat, or when you get down to this end, like, dripping, like, I had a silk press when I went here, Afro, when I came out, it was so hot. Then they was blowing a fire extinguisher, like, that was the best party ever, that party was buzzing. Party was buzzing. Freshman girl, if I could do that over again, I definitely would. I would have just, my group of friends changed too much, my freshman year. But you know, you just meeting new people. My bad. Meeting new people. Trying to see who for you, who you finna hang with. You by yourself. And I didn't know nobody besides my roommate. And we, we didn't talk like that. So. <sighs> yeah. Well, y'all. That's the end of my story time. I really thank y'all. I really, 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 really thank y'all for supporting me and watching my channel, reposting my stuff, retweeting my tweets, screenshotting my pictures on Snapchat and reposting them on y'all stories. I really appreciate it. I really love that y'all that some that my friends that stick to their word and they really supported me because they know last time I quit because you know people wasn't really on my team like they wasn't trying to help me. They was just leaving me to fend for myself, which. 
it's okay because nobody obligated to do anything but you know you, you you know your friends supposed to ride for you they're supposed to be to support you through whatever but i'm glad that i have the group of friends that i have now because they have so much love to give and so much support that they give me so yeah and i just want y'all to like comment and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and become my sunflower seed i really don't care if y'all don't like that name i'm keeping it because that's what i like and sunflowers and sunflower seeds go hand in hand like sunflower seeds comes out the sunflowers so yeah so thank you for becoming my sunflower seed and i hope to have many more of you and i'll see you in my next video love you bye